sleep is unconscious meditation. Meditation is conscious sleep. In sleep we get limited energy. In meditation we get abundant energy. This energy enhances the power of our body, mind and intellect. It opens the doors for our sixth sense and beyond. With this boosted energy through meditation, we will be relaxed, healthy and happy. It also helps to reach greater heights in the physical realm. Meditation is nothing but a journey of our consciousness towards the Self. In meditation, we consciously travel from body to mind, mind to intellect, intellect to Self and beyond. To do meditation, first we have to stop all the functions of our body and mind, that is, body movements, seeing, speaking and thinking. Now, let us know how to do meditation. For meditation, the first thing is the posture. You may sit in any posture. The posture must be very comfortable and stable. We can meditate either on a floor or on a chair. We can meditate in any place wherever we feel comfortable. Sit comfortably, cross your legs, clasp your fingers. Now close your eyes. Stop inner or outer chatter. Don't chant any mantra. Just relax. Totally relax. Just relax. When we cross our legs and clasp our fingers, energy circuit is formed and gives more stability. Eyes are doors of the mind, so eyes should be closed. Mantra chanting or any chattering inner or outer are the activities of the mind so it should be stopped when body relaxes consciousness travels to the next zone mind and intellect mind is nothing but a bundle of thoughts there are numerous thoughts always coming to the surface of the mind. Whenever there are thoughts in the mind, we may get many questions, known or unknown. To transcend the mind and intellect, one has to observe the breath. Observation is the nature of the self. So, one should just witness the breath. Don't do conscious breathing. Don't inhale or exhale consciously. Let inhalation or exhalation happen on its own. Just observe the normal breathing. This is the main key. This is the way. Don't go behind the thoughts. Don't cling to queries, questions 
our thoughts. Cut the thought. Come back to the breath. Observe normal breathing. Be with your breath. Then the density of the thoughts reduces. Slowly breath becomes thinner and shorter. Finally, breath becomes the smallest and settles like a flash in between the eyebrows. In this state, one will have no breath and no thought. He will be totally thoughtless. This state is called Nirmal Stiti or No Thought State. This is the meditative state. In this state, we will be under the shower of cosmic energy. The more meditation one does, the more will be the cosmic energy one receives. The energy body forms with more than 72,000 nadis or energy tubes which runs all across the body. All these energy tubes start from the top of the head region. This region is called Brahmarandra. These nadis spread throughout the body like roots and shoots of a plant. The energy body is the main base for the design of our life. This energy body is the main source of all our actions and even our existence. Our energy body receives cosmic energy during deep sleep and meditation. We are using this energy for our body and mind activities like seeing, speaking, hearing, thinking and all physical actions. All these functions are totally based on the incoming cosmic energy. The inflow of cosmic energy is purely based on our thoughts. When we have thoughts, the inflow of cosmic energy is obstructed. In other words, our thoughts are the stumbling blocks for the inflow of cosmic energy. When the inflow of cosmic energy is less, the energy in the energy tubes depletes. This depletion causes etheric patches in the energy body. These etheric patches gradually lead to diseases in the physical body. In other words, root cause for all diseases is the lack of energy in the etheric body. In meditation, we get abundant cosmic energy. It flows through all our energy tubes of the energy body. 
when cosmic energy is passing through energy tubes because of its heavy flow it cleanses all etheric patches when etheric patches are cleansed we come out of all our illnesses when energy starts flowing through the brahma randra we feel heaviness in the head region or heaviness of the whole body when energy is cleansing the energy tubes in a particular region we may get itching sensation or pain in that region sometimes we may experience pain in various places in the physical body for these pains we need not take any medicine all these pains will vanish by doing more meditation by intake of more and more cosmic energy through meditation we come out of all physical and mental illness now let us go through once again what we have understood so far meditation is a journey towards the self for this we have to transcend the body and mind by assuming a comfortable posture our body totally relaxes and this facilitates transcending the body consciousness by observing our normal breathing we transcend the mind when we transcend the body and mind then the cosmic energy flows cosmic energy cleanses all illnesses of the body thereby we will be healthy without any medicine more and more cosmic energy releases all the tensions and stress of the mind as we practice more and more meditation mind becomes calm and has more space this leads to higher memory power more and more meditation leads to higher understanding capabilities then it leads to good interpersonal relationship meditation enhances the happiness of family life mind will be tranquil meditation makes you healthy and blissful meditation helps us get all answers to all our questions to achieve this and more meditation should be practiced every day meditation can be done at any place meditation can be done at any time even during a journey in one sitting meditation should be done for a time equal to one's age for instance a 30 year old man should do meditation at least for 30 minutes in one sitting for meditation you need not leave the family life everyone should do meditation children are best meditators they can start meditation age of 5 for meditation you need not go in search for any physical guru master the guru the master is within your breath 
is your guru. Your breath is your master. It is for everyone. Meditation is the journey of our consciousness towards the self. To do meditation, we have to transcend the body and mind. When we transcend the body and mind, we reach the self. Then we receive abundant cosmic energy. By more meditation, our self-knowledge expands. Now, let us try and understand what is knowledge. Meditation takes you to the realms of higher knowledge. Knowledge is nothing but experience. Experience is nothing but totally involving yourself. By practicing more and more meditation, we receive higher energy. With this higher energy, higher involvement is achieved in every aspect, which leads to higher knowledge. Through knowledge, we get higher understanding and wisdom. With this understanding, we understand that we are not just the body and mind. We understand that we are miraculous beings. We understand all the situations we come across and come out of all our problems by higher understanding. Higher energy and higher knowledge expands the consciousness. Expansion of the consciousness is the very purpose of the Self. Higher knowledge is obtained only through higher senses like third eye and astral body. The third eye is a very powerful tool of the soul to see, to feel and to hear the higher frequency realities. These three functions of the soul are known as third eye. By practicing more and more meditation more energy flows, more energy activates the third eye. It is a great experience for a meditator. At the time of activation of the third eye, we feel an itching sensation or pulling sensation at the forehead region. We start seeing glimpses of various colors rotating around us. sounds, sounds of walking. We 
feel as if we are traveling in a pitch dark tunnel. When the etheric body gets sufficient cosmic energy, by more and more meditation, our third eye gets perfect. Here we perceive crystal clear visions of this plane and other planes. In third eye perfection, we see many things clearer than the physical visions. We see other frequency realities. We see the things which are not present in the realm of the five senses. We feel so many things which we cannot express with words. We hear inner voices, sounds or sounds of instruments from other frequencies. see masters who are not there physically with us. We see masters in a physical form as we know them. After more meditation, we start seeing the Master like a bright light. Even by seeing the bright light, we feel the identity of the Master. We can hear the messages from the Masters. We feel like moving in a tunnel and finally merging with the light. Through third eye experiences, we know, we can get answers for all our problems through messages from the masters or by seeing other frequency realities or as a feeling. By this, our actions will change, our beliefs will change our understanding will change. After this third eye experience, we find changes in our perception of this physical plane.
let us know the other tool of the self that is astral body astral body is a tool of the self to perceive other frequency realities astral body is one more form of our consciousness just like our physical body in normal condition our consciousness is spread throughout our physical body when we receive sufficient amount of energy and when we feel to perceive other frequency realities consciousness moves in the form of astral body we perceive astral body experiences unconsciously in our sleep which we call dreams one can perceive astral body experiences consciously in meditation astral body travels beyond space and time after conscious astral experiences we start perceiving new dimensions in meditation after receiving abundant cosmic energy the consciousness which is spread everywhere in the body starts moving towards a point while consciousness is moving we experience jerks in the physical body we feel as if our body is floating we don't feel the hands and legs we feel lightness of the body like a feather movements may be experienced in different parts of the body or sometimes one may experience as if the whole body is rotating these are known as astral movements by practicing more and more meditation we get more cosmic energy the consciousness takes the form like an astral body starts rotating very fast which causes heavy movements after the movements the astral body starts coming out of the physical body with a link called silver cord silver cord is nothing but a high vibrant consciousness which transfers the messages of the physical body to the astral body and vice versa with this we do astral travel astral travel is a travel of our consciousness to known and unknown places and frequencies by doing astral travel we get highest knowledge and understanding of the self in astral travel our astral body can pass through all physical materials all elements like earth water fire wind and ether astral body can go to all other frequencies 
without any limitations. After coming out of the body, the meditator sees his own physical body. By this he gets a great understanding. He understands that he is not just the body and mind, but he stays in the body. This is a great understanding. Everyone should experience astral travel. By experiencing astral travel, our limitedness will vanish and we will understand that we are unlimited. By this experience, we understand that we are the consciousness. We understand that we are unlimited. We understand the new dimensions of life. By practicing more and more meditation, we will receive more cosmic energy. Cosmic energy improves our involvement in whatever we are in. By more and more total involvement with body, mind, self, we understand in total about the situations. This understanding is nothing but knowledge. The common person will get only experience but fail to perceive the knowledge in that situation. It is because he experiences the situation with physical understanding alone. But a meditator will understand the situation in total. It is so because he knows that he is not just the body. He knows that he just stays in the body. He understands that the situations are for his evolution. After experiencing all meditational experiences and implementing it in our practical life, we will get great understanding. This understanding opens up several thousand doors which gives new dimensions of perceptions in our life. Our understanding, our perception and our knowledge expands a lot. This leads to the expansion of our consciousness, which is nothing but having wisdom. We experience this state of wisdom as a thousand petal golden lotus. Each and every petal is a new dimension of understanding. By perceiving more and more dimensions, we understand more and more knowledge of other existences. With this understanding, we come to know that there is no death and we are eternal beings. We understand 
what is birth and what is death. We come to this earth plane as a speck of cosmic consciousness. While coming from the source, we come with etheric body as a structure of the self. We come to this earth plane to have unique experiences. For our experiences, we select the womb, we select the parents, environment and situations. The whole design of life is known to this self. After selecting the mother, speck of consciousness enters the mother's womb. After consciousness enters the mother's womb, the fetus gets life. physical body takes the shape according to the cosmic energy in the etheric body and the cause. Consciousness will be traveling frequently to the source till it takes its first breath. After coming out of the mother's womb, it takes its first external breath. This is known as birth. From day one to the age of seven, we will have awareness of the source. The mind starts taking its shape from the age of seven. It completely forms by age fourteen. The intellect starts its activation from the age of fourteen and is fully developed by the age of twenty-one. From the age of 21 to the age of 28, one experiences the combination of body, mind and intellect. From the age of 28, life depends on self-knowledge. If one does not have awareness of the self, his consciousness lies in between body and mind. Because of this, Misery starts. He cannot understand the situations. Things will become more critical for him. He molds himself into concealed rigidness. Rigidness blocks the cosmic flow. Due to this, he suffers physical illness, stress and tensions. He passes his days without awareness. He cannot understand the very purpose of his life. He passes from childhood days to youth, then to old age and finally passes away from this earth plane without completing the purpose of coming to the earth plane. This is what we call death. Even after death, the layer of rigid mind with wrong understanding does not allow the consciousness to reach the source.
because of the wrong understanding, he creates his own hell and heaven and stays as a lower astral being. One starts one's life being with the self, one will always be blissful in all given situations. Even after death, one won't be in the lower frequencies, one will go back to the source. By obtaining higher knowledge through the third eye, astral travel, knowledge of birth and death, one will have perfect understanding of body, mind, intellect, self and life force. One understands that the consciousness is a combination of energy and knowledge. Consciousness comes to this plane to gain more energy and knowledge and to create. By living all the time with this understanding, one starts getting a higher understanding about the existence of the whole creation. With this understanding, one will become a miraculous creator. Then, whatever one speaks, it manifests. Whatever one thinks, it manifests. Whatever one does, it becomes a creation. This is enlightenment. <laughs>